Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I am recording this intro for probably the next 15 or so episodes because when this goes up, I will be in Italy. I've been editing like mad in order to get ready to go and have videos up for you guys while I'm gone. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and all the ones coming up and the video will start in a second. Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where it has been a while for me since I've played. We also have the absolute, I think, in the background occasionally uh, saying things. See, there, she, there she goes. Uh, she wants, uh, she wants Baldur's Gate, apparently, <laughs> which we kind of knew, anyway. Um, but so a lot has happened in in the interim. Hopefully, I will have included a explanation of sorts as to why I'm not uh, gonna reload and try to help Shadowheart um, at this point. Um, I just don't. Uh, have the time. I don't have the time to keep going back and redoing things, and uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see how things play out in this one. Uh, however, we did have an issue when last we left off, which is, which was sort of the straw that broke Campbell's back and maybe quit the game for a while, uh, which is that Zevlor's speech got interrupted. Turns out it was vitally important, and so I found. A video that um, has, and you guys can see some of what of my. <laughs> I watch baby Arctic foxes, yay! Um, Freaking. I, I found a video, I don't, I don't know who this person is, but I really appreciate them having this, that gives you specifically Zevlor's um, dialogue that we missed. So we had, you know, and, and this guy or whoever actually does pick the same option I picked, the same dialogue option. You've heard some of it, I'm sure. We'll play this. That I froze or broke. Okay. Or well, some other lie that is kinder than. We'll play this. Uh, I hope if if the person doesn't like me doing this, I I totally understand and I can like remove it in some way. Um, but yeah, I just we we missed it because the game kind of glitched out. We had that issue with the with the fight, right? Where like somebody else, like a very little tiny mind pet thing like came in and was like I'm still here and it was like interrupted him completely which is super mega frustrating um so but apparently it was a big deal I am bummed to miss out on it because because we found out he was a paladin and some of the I bet you one of the options would have been interesting I would have had like a paladin or maybe an even an oathbreaker specific conversational option at the end but as it is we'll play this see what we missed because the game seems to think we got it anyway I don't know what default answers they chose for me, but that's, mm, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. But the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard her, their false god, whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again, with a god's purpose, a god's power. Everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me while I imagined so, myself their safe. This is pretty wild. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. I could always like link the video too. Like legit, if this person, like I don't want to like steal content, you know, um, so if this person doesn't want me to have this video in here, I can always I think I can go in and edit it out, and I'll just like link that. I'll I'll link the video below anyway, but um, but yeah, as like a credits thing. Um, but yeah, no, he apparently freaking Zevlor like didn't just like freeze out of fear or like tiredness. Like I thought maybe he like finally like just like snapped a little bit, but no, he got like enthralled, and it was like oh baby, you know. And he just like the whole time he was like in a, in a, in an illusion, like disillusionment. While they, everybody was being tortured around him, I would have picked. If you want a power, you never needed a god. Only had to live up to your ideal, which sounds very much like an oathbreaker sentiment. Again, though, this person doesn't. I don't know what this person is. They don't look like a paladin. Um, but oh, they brought. Uh, you could bring. That's right. We we decided to leave her to like help her people. I'm hoping that wasn't the wrong decision, but if it is, at this point, I'm really, I'm done with reloading. I'm very done with it. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience anymore, <laughs> so. Um, until you, yeah, it sounds like you're being enthralled. Yeah, and see, I'm glad this person didn't pick mean ones, but we'll see. I think they picked this one. 
They're being very nice. Usually people are mean, <laughs> so it's nice that this person's nice. It would be nice to think so, but whatever these monsters twist us into, I believe it. Which is a really good point. I won't make excuses. I can't make amends. But I know something of what you came to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace. And this could be different too. I have no idea if this person had, like, rescued Night Song or not, you know, or um, if Ketherick's still at full power for them. Or because right now Ketherick's having an issue with me, right? Because we, cause we separated him from the Night Song. But he yoiked her, he took her down there. Um, but their connection is separated and he's failing. So it could be different for me, technically. Descend and show him how wrong he is. The brightness is super if turned there up. If there are survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out. Which is place. nice, which is good. Um, so again, this is one where it's like, oh, you can choose to have him come with you potentially. Whether or not he actually, it seems like, because this person picks this one, I don't, it seems like. Zevlar just refuses to come kind of no matter what and was like wants to do his own thing but you can at least offer um I'm just really hoping that like I would have picked this one if I or no yeah like or maybe this one which sounds like fine period is like very aggressive like passive aggressive to me I just hope I don't know I have no idea what they would have picked but hopefully it's like answer one you know like it would have defaulted to answer one and all of them I don't know or the game just I don't know. It's fresh. This game frustrates me in several ways. <laughs> I could use another blade. Let's see, they do. Only if you can trust it won't be buried in your back. The absolute swayed me once before. I won't risk it happening again. Go, my friend. Please. What is that, Diva? <laughs> I know it's not, but it looks like Diva from <laughs> Overwatch. Uh, except she's been e-girlified even more um anyway thank you to perfect paradox again if i if you don't want that video if you happen to see this seeing as how like you know you're a big name person and like i don't know but if i need to remove it i will and i'll just i will include the link anyway down below but um yeah i don't want to be a content thief um but i do appreciate that being there because sometimes it's, sometimes it's hard to find like the niche cutscene that you want and i didn't have to scroll through like anything for that like it was just it was just the scene i needed so that was very handy um anyway one of the things that we're going to do now um which i hope i would have mentioned in oh we can't the moment oh. I was gonna maybe switch right now, Gale to a cleric. Uh, I don't, hopefully I'll mention it in my interlude that I do whenever the Shadowheart stuff goes down. Um, but I am planning on this point at making Gale a cleric of Mistra. Um, because, like I said, I was starting to really like Shadowheart, so now I'm bummed about that. But also her abilities were proving like invaluable, especially in this area. And so I would, I really want to keep a cleric again, and I haven't been bringing Gale out much because, like, a wizard's cool and all, but, like, I don't know, I haven't really, like, he dies easily, you know? So, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm a brute force kind of player, so hopefully when I switch Gale over, and I, it feels, I don't like switching the main characters. Like, I know I have friends who, like, respec them, like, mad, you know, which is totally fine. It just feels weird to me because it's, like, part of their, who they are, you know? Um, and so turning Gale into a cleric is a little weird, but at least he'll be a cleric of Mistra, and, uh, he does seem the most apropos for it. Like, I can't, I feel like I can't change Will at all, because his, his thing, his being a warlock thing is very much tied to his story, you know? Gale's is mostly tied to his connection to Mistra, as far as I can tell, so I would feel okay with that. However, I say all that, but I can't fast travel right now. I... I don't know how to thank you. I thought I was done for. This is a bleeding shit uh, show. Yeah. Half my squad's dead. The other half's sporting tentacles. We came here to rescue Duke Ravenguard. But we didn't stand a chance. Uh, did you see the Duke? Yeah. He was in one of the We pods. sensed him there. The cultists took him away. 
he was still human and still trying to put up a fight. I worry that he will not be human when we uh, get over to him eventually. And that does make me nervous to like leave and do a long rest. Uh, because I, I don't want things to go badly, you know? Huh. Oh, stench. I'm beginning to think I should have stayed in that pod. In there, it only smelled like me. Is there any news about Duke Ravenguard? Did he get out alive? No. Tell by your expression. <laughs> Gonna have to fall on my sword, aren't no, uh, I? No, 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 uh, no. You definitely uh, do not do that. We've, we've got stuff we can do. Hurry now. The city calls lady, lady, if you're talking to me, you're you're gonna have you're gonna have a a, a storm coming, a big the storm coming. On my heart. And you, my many hands. Me? No, not me. Is that a pearl? Sick. I'll probably just revive Carlac and keep going. Well, I, I do a long rest, obviously. Also, hopefully the brightness stuff has been fixed. There was a period of time where, like, I, I was playing on, like, a darker screen for my own eyes' sake. And I, for whatever reason, was like, oh, surely the... It won't, it won't affect necessarily, like, the recording. It does. I was also playing for a bit on, um... Like, the... Oh, do I not have any more? I was playing... On the hero with the heart. Words of the eye shield setting, so it was making the screen kind of yellow. Again, I was really hoping that it wouldn't do anything, but it did. Need some oil over here. Yeah, well, let's do. Let's get going. Oh, we can't. No, we can't long rest. Oh, we cannot fast travel, so we just need a short oh, rest. Fresh. And well, yeah, well, you're gonna well. need. I think one of those. How many spells do I have? And well, in it. Take your. Oh well, it's something anyway. All right, everybody's upright, and we are looking for mole. There was something. Somebody said something like, "Like I think my character was like, oh, no evidence of mole in here.'" But we can definitely tell that she's in it. She's moved on. She's like escaped this area. And I was like, "Excuse me, like I have, I don't see anything about that. The journal doesn't tell me anything about December, that." Faithful. Oh. We depart. Wait, wait. When she talks to me, do I have this like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she has, she puts an aura on me when she talks to me. Let's save. For the love of all that's holy. In the nine realms and blah blah blah. Please stop game. Are we okay, game? Okay, that was scary. So we are looking for for what's this? Yes, the devil that Mizura asked us to rescue. Oh wait, that guy. He was behind us. Yes, right. No, where was he? Oh, Mizura is up there. Thought he was behind us? Brine pools. But empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. She's apparently above us. That pod. Oh! What? Mazora. You're Zariel's asset. My dumb little stinker. Took you long enough. Now, my Grazit's cock get me out of this thing. I'll do it, and you'll set me free. That was the deal. Yeah, yeah. So, get to it already. Wait, what? 
What are, what are we looking at? The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. Authority. Um... <laughs> gather your strength and smash your foot through the pot. Um... Did she, like, send a projection or something? Like, what does she mean she's the asset? It's like, Tokyo long enough. What do you... What? The symbol's meaning comes into focus. Annihilate. Can I kill a devil? The symbol means nothing to you. Oh, no. Well, it's probably, uh... A release button. Ah, uh, I'm so... Uh, now with me not wanting to, like, do, like, a ton of reloads anymore. I'm like, am I just gonna be, like, annihilating companions right and left? I don't think my character... Well, but would, would annihilating Mizura be for, like, the greater good? Or do we think she's gonna keep to her bargain? Because I don't think... I think there's some wording in there that has that we have overlooked somehow and we, we were all we've all got <laughs> well at least the two of them have their hands on their hips um she obviously still has the ability to kind of get in and out i don't i don't know how i mean she obviously wants to be free but i don't know how this technology would interact with her i don't know i don't feel good about killing her in there even if it's the smarter decision so I think this is a release one. Connect your mind to the device to the device on the right and activate it. All right, be nice. I know it's hard. Nay, impossible. You did all right, Will. I'd give your belly a good rub. But never could stand the smell. He's, he's, he... You're free, Mazura. I held up my end. Now you hold up yours. Sever the pact. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. If the soul binder consents to separation, she will release the soul bearer from all obligation within six I months. knew it! Six months? Gods damn you! Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get it's you. True. Oh. Or I'll sever your head. Uh, let's try to persuade. I am. So I could just go with a like a base plus two. Let's go ahead and do that. Can't. Yeah, I have to do one or the other. Okay. Uh, I think. Whew, I was like, I think we're good, but oh, jeez. Maybe we can at least shorten the time. Another one. Well, after jumping through all those hoops, a little treat wouldn't hurt. Did she? Is she gonna remove his up uh, his appearance? Or give him a bonus. Oh, 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 whoa. All that power. And to think you want to throw it away. Now, you've got business in the towers to take care of. Don't you fret. I'll find you soon enough. You're going to need me. Count on it. Oh, and go ahead. Tell your chums how we met. Oh. It's a real cracker of a tale. Ta-ta. He wasn't allowed to tell us before. Mizora gives to Will an infernal rapier for his troubles, though she requires some convincing. Did it, is it in his inventory? The pride of the gate. So mine. So that's progress. Send to Will. Okay. That's cool. What does it do? Um, Gain plus one bonus. Instead of dexterity modifier, the affected entity adds its spellcasting modifier to attack rolls. Cambion. So we can conjure a cam. 
a whole cane be on? A whole entire one. That's crazy, actually. Okay, well, yeah, well, now we get to chit chat about as bad as it could have. stuff. Zariel's asset was none other than Mazora herself. Of course. Tricks on top of tricks on top of tricks. I do love this armor on him. But I've only got six months before I made a free man. Thanks be to the triad. No, scratch that. Thanks be to you. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Also, uh, no, I'm worried though. I am worried that that's a that's the bad option. But like I said, I just it didn't. Either it was gonna go poorly if we tried to kill her in there, and she was gonna you know get us because she's a devil. She would just I think she would just respawn essentially unless she did get turned into a mind flayer. But it seemed like that was not. It was too uh, not not a, not good enough odds. Um, and I'm I'm still a paladin. Like I just. Killing somebody in cold blood. Like, I know I did it before, and that's what gave me the Oathbreaker thing, but now I think she's, like... She hasn't been, like, set free by that. She's, like, more aware of her actions. Um... Mozura said you can talk about your pact in exile. It's time I know the whole truth. First, we killed Catherine I knew Thor. it! Then, I'll tell you everything you want to that's know. Probably what else is on your mind? That's probably smarter, honestly. Um, because it would be bad if we had, like, a, a, an emotional confession thing going on right now. Well, man. You, you had other things to say. Oh, well, okay. Okie dokie. So we've done that. Suspend. So what? Let's see what this does. Is this gonna hurt? Nope. Okay. The liquid does not hurt. Dictated Describe Yanthus by Enver Gortash. I saw an achievement that had somebody's name Gortash, and, but I don't know what it was. And then there was... There's something we've seen. Gortash is involved? He's like one of the three guys, I think, that's like involved with Kethric. Seremorphosis. Illithid. Illithid. Larval transformation of a host humanoid into a mind flare typically occurs less than a 10 day after infection, but the tadpoles laid by our captive elder brain are enhanced due to the powerful netherese magic of the crown of Garsis. Is that the one that Gale got? Or he tried to get? No, he consumed that kind of. Our enhanced tadpoles induce their host a sort of suspended seremorphosis, a state in which the host becomes susceptible to empathic influence and even coercion from the absolute. Our elder brain, for all purposes, there are two key aspects of this influence. First, the conversion of the host to a mental lackey of the absolute occurs entirely without the host's awareness. Its servility feels comfortable and natural and is never consciously questioned. Second, the servile state persists even after the host is far beyond the usual range of an elder brain's psionic control. This phenomenon is spectacularly useful given our ambitions. Indeedio. Uh, anything? We aren't going up there. She keeps saying to descend. Oh, oh, you want me to go in there? I don't want to go in there. It's over here. There are, there were a bunch of other doors. What's going on? Through these other... Or maybe... I think... I think... I went to this side room, obviously. Otherwise, it wouldn't have... It wouldn't be lit up. Let me poke this brine pool. Hurry now. The city calls out for salvation. I... Oh, okay. I was like, I succeeded on a what? The choke. Or like, I succeeded on the thing, but like, like, what was it? What did I get? I got a... Even though I don't... I don't do... I don't do that. Okay. Well, I thought I was gonna have to like, jump into that and like, ooze my way down and I was not looking forward to that. We shall continue on. Of many hearts, one. Song. The barracks. I don't like the sound of that. I don't want any more. Any more surprises. We'll do this in an orderly way. 
Harry Henry's journal. These slick innards, these fluid chambers, how long have we been here making thralls? I don't want any to any longer. Miracle is drowned out of my head by my own spiral fears. The bone lord doesn't want a coward. None of this looks real. I am in a crack and belly. I am turned inside upside. I am dead. Miracle's gray waist always sounded peaceful, not like this. Yeah, so this must be the guy who, um... Like, we, we heard a little bit, briefly. Um, like, not wanting to do this anymore and just trying to, like, keep, like, mind his own business, sort of. Discern, faithful. Yeah, I hear you. Call, almost calls her grandma for some reason. I severed, like, a part of me still is like, ooh, I should pick up these body parts and feed them to my elf. Because of Divinity 2, which was a super neat mechanic, honestly. I thought that was really cool. Let's see. Mistress of Souls Research Log. Experiments on the first one, day four. Again, I have noted a fluid leakage from the oral cavity and have ascertained the cause due to the unusual the method of parasitic insertion. The secretions of the creature within are leaking out rather than being absorbed by the brain, as we've noted in other thralls. I cannot say what the parasite is evacuating this oil, but it has the scent of garlic we now know indicated it's fed on the host's brain matter itself. I have collected a, fluid, a sample of ear fluid. They have a section day to day. How exciting. Showed no sign of pain as I was unraveling the long intestine, but instead grabbed the organ as if it were a rope, reached to wrap it around my neck as it strangled me. But all the strength in its poor arms is quite gone. Had to thread the guts back into the body. We'll try again another day. <laughs> Not design, but death. Not design, but death. A surgery kit. Okay, so there's a creepy lady. Fresh mind. Wait. It's going behind me. Cressa's notes. I have seen a thousand years. Some of the reflexes a twitch when they know the worm is about to burrow. The worm takes longer to get through the if the entry hole isn't clean. I've taken to torching them with an ear candle. It all makes for dull works. I am tired of ears. I am tired of my only order being create thralls. Apparently, oh, all we need to know about the brain is being handled by the chosen. I am forbidden from studying these dull thralls. I need a new one, one that Balthazar doesn't know of. A creature of exceptional will, like my old dear pet. Um, can keep fragments of its own mind while affected by the parasite. We need to know... Why? So this isn't Balthazar. It's somebody, maybe like somebody he had working under him. Great. Is this viscous chair? That's disgusting. I said it was a lantern. A brain jar. Gross. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Journal. Let me read about you guys. I remember our life as country surgeons back in Neshkal. We only ever wanted to be the best, to learn how to staunch any mortal wound. How do we get here? Kessa hasn't been herself since her pet true soul was shipped out to that nautiloid. <gasps> it's the what? It was either Shadowheart or Lazelle. That's, that's the pet that's being referred to. Or me? It could be me. I haven't been able to so much as touch her. I find myself growing green at the thought. My own wife revolts me with those experiments. Not really my wife any longer. I thought of that favorite creature dispatched would bring her back to... I thought getting that favorite creature dispatched would bring her back to herself, but she pines for that damn feral corpse with aching knee. And she finds out I ratted out to Balthazar that she was keeping it and it got sent away. And got it sent away. She might kill me. And you, my many hands... What? The order to evacuate given... You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. That's nice. Um. Uh. Do I just want to fight? I kind of think I do, honestly. She snuck up on me too. I was looking like I got the journal entry read, but it's like ah, I want to talk, but I'm I'm not really a deceiving person. Uh, we can give it a whirl. Like it doesn't hurt, you know. 21, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told you, I'm not good at this uh, No, let's go with it. Nice. Let's go with it. I shall present your bones to General Thorne as retribution for what you did to him. 
Is it just her? No, nope, the others are joining in. Maybe I can necromancer some answers out of their bodies, you know? Oh, we have to activate both aspects, I think. Yeah. And then we activate. I didn't realize. Because she died, it went away. But that's okay. Now we are. She's fully juiced up. Hmm. Oh, wait. This is that. This is the guy. Oh. The woman is out here. Oh, you, he just like teleported into here. What does he have? Shield? Um, immune to magic missile. Armor class increased by I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not using magic missile. <laughs> That's good to know. I won't use magic missile. But he does have armor of Agathis on. So maybe we hit him with ranged attacks if possible. There you go. Absolutely. Oh no. Ray of sickness isn't that bad, I think. Nah, yeah, it's fine. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, well, I can counterspell the Misty step. Actually, let's do that. No movement for you. You stay right there. Yeah, that is what I thought. Ah! Hellish rebuke for sure. Yeah, I was like, I hope that, I think that should kill her. Oh, but dang it, I burned her so I can't talk to her. Oh well. Oh no. A critical miss, unfortunate. What? That should have triggered an opportunity attack. Oh, this guy's around too. There were four of them. That's right. <laughs> Moonlight butterflies. And gain advantage on attacks. I'm gonna do that. Cut into the chain. Wow! Oh, that- oh, but she's almost dead. Dang it. I guess- I do have advantage, so that's nice. Oh, it persists. It doesn't just stick to her. Gucci! Yeah, bro. I am barbarian. Well, she is. Sumanus, guide my blows. I shall not rest. Oh, uh, Halson was taking damage from the moonlit butterflies. That's unfortunate. This is my time. We wrecked him, honestly. Let's just, uh. Okay, how do I turn off. Let's move. Turn it off. Usually you can like, there's a thing. Turn it off. Oh, okay, it just goes, okay. Oh, okay, he's regening. I was like, what is he doing? Um, I have no more <laughs> short rest. We do, don't we have like a spell? None of us are really spell heavy, I think. At least not spell heavy enough. Soldier. Uh, okay. Take that. And, these things and are I will attempt to take my own potions. This is sick. The Moonlight Sonata. That's so cool. I don't have any healing. <laughs> I'm doomed. Oh my gosh, where did all our health potions right. go? What now? Oh, I do. Why didn't it? Oh, it's healing, not health. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see if I can Sprocken Z dead. It was one of the permanent spells. There it is. Okay, look, it's one of the permanent spells I gave myself. So we can't target her. Can we target you? Yeah, 
the corpse from the inside. All right. You, you, of course, it's the one that I freaking burned. I'll keep that. I'll give it to. I don't know, Will. It's probably the one I, one I burned who is gonna have things to say. The corpse has nothing to say. Really? These, like, fairly high ranking individuals have nothing to say. Appreciably cared for boots. Cartilaginous chest. With haste. Alright, brother, you got things to say? Good idea. In the corpse has really? to say. Well brick. Oh well. Letter from Iron Finger. She's, she's going to put me in one any day. Cressa, who was initiated the very same hour as I all those years ago, she's going to put a parasite in my ear when I sleep. Can't bear to be without a pet to experiment on. Needs to have a thrall locked away so she can go further than Balthazar will let her. Cressa, I remember when we were just stomping on ant piles and raising them back up. Our very first deaths. I hope you remember somewhere. Yep, she was the one to talk to. Alas. Where is the, the moment comes cartilaginous chest? The absolute. That's where we came in from. They were like standing at an altar? Yeah, over here. No traps, please. You're so right, Dusty. Pale orange dye. That's exactly what I was looking for in here. What? I hear goopy noises. I don't like that. Not a big fan. Not design. Ooh, but oh, where did you get a humanoid looking skull that big? I don't see anything in particular. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call this oh, one here. Will know my yeah, will it? Could I please get a long rest? That would be so nice. I, I mean, should I just like I don't? I almost feel like I'm maybe get close to where Kethrick is and then like leave like fast travel out because like i am fast running out of things and i i mean he's he's gonna be weakened because we removed the night song from him but hopefully she lives but anyway thank you all for joining me i appreciate it uh, I, if you're still here even after shadow has gone and everything i know she's kind of a, i think a popular character uh, I think she's fairly bland, personally, but I was starting to enjoy her company, and I was intrigued to see how her story would play out. At this point, I'll just have to wait till I play through um, with a, on a game with friends. So, um, but if you're still with me after all that, uh, the hullabaloo and like the little frustrations and the big frustrations, I do appreciate it a lot, honestly. So, thank you all again for watching. Hopefully, when this goes up, I will be in Italy. So, I'm trying desperately <laughs> to record enough before I go to Italy. But um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But wish me luck. So, thank you all again for watching. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Equin Tier patron. Thank you so much, Thane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel, and who I truly cannot think enough, like, so much. So, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is, again, just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter, some of them will be a little longer, uh, but I did my best just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.